What is up, car addicts? So lately I've been getting questions as to which cars are the best for each class currently in 2020. So I decided to just put all of them in one video to make it easier for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the sedans class, we have the Acia. Most people think the best one is the Shafter V12, but in reality, there's a reason Lester drives this car. It's a little known fact that the carbon fiber and rear spoiler upgrade actually makes it extremely fast in a straight line. Moving on to the Coupes class, we have the F620. This car has no visual customization, sadly, but it has a hidden feature that only a few can master. Bruffy can vouch for me on this one for this car being the best in the Coupes class. Hateful, hateful machine. Now onto the Compacts class, we have the Dilettante. Now a lot of people make fun of this car, but they don't realize how fast its hybrid drivetrain makes it. There's actually a triple turbo upgrade you can put using the iFruit app, which is a hidden little feature, and it makes it wreck the Briozo. Just can't touch it, it's amazing. Moving on to the SUVs class, we have the Habanero. Now, we see a lot of people using the Toros, but honestly, people don't realize how good the Habanero is once you fully upgrade it. It's very lightweight, making it a monster around the corners, and crazy acceleration as well. Moving on to the off-roads class, we have the Kalahari. It's small, it's lightweight, its design makes it the fastest off-road class vehicle in the game. The Camacho has more power, we'll all admit that, but it's just way too heavy and not as nimble as the Kalahari through the bumpy corners and everything when you're going off-road. Moving on to the motorcycles class, we obviously have the Fagio. This one needs no explanation as everyone knows it's the best one right now. And a little insider tip I can give you guys is if you get the Fagio mod version, Every mirror and light upgrade adds extra traction and more speed, making it even faster. So make sure you put those upgrades on it if you get it. Now onto the Vans class. This one is quite obvious being the big brother of the gang burrito, and that is the Taco Van. This is by far the best vehicle for racing in the Vans class. All you have to do is hold down the horn. This causes all of your opponents that you're racing to pull over for a quick taco lunch while you continue to drive by straight to the finish line and get first place. Moving on to the Muscle Cars class, even though it looks like it's in the Vans class, it's actually in the Muscle Cars class, and that is the Moonbeam Custom. All the interior speaker upgrades add extra weight, which means more traction, making it wreck the assembly around corners, and it's crazy. The Twin Turbo V8 allows it to go way past the assembly in a straight line, and the Pusswasher Dominator for top speed. I mean, it's just an absolute monster. You just have to make sure you put all the maximum internal upgrades and all the speakers inside and all that stuff to get the full potential out of it. Now moving on to utilities class, while really anyone races in this class anymore, I decided to just throw this one in here, and the best one for that is the lawnmower. A lot of people like to use the golf cart or the saddle or pickup truck, but those are just too heavy and not as light and nimble on the corners as the lawnmower. The lawnmower is smaller, gets through corners easier, Definitely make sure to pick this one up when you participate in a utility race. Moving on to the Sports Classics class, we have the Dynasty. Now most people will tell you the Turismo Classic is the best, but actually the Dynasty has a teleport function once you install the taxi upgrades, making it the best Sports Classics car for races because you can just teleport around the map and win. Moving on to the Sports Class, now the Pariah was the king for a while, but we finally have a new king in 2020, and that is the BF Raptor. When this car is fully upgraded with the S Racer wheels, it has the best handling in the game and the best acceleration due to how lightweight it is. Nothing can touch this, it absolutely wrecks the Pariah, it is the new king, rear wheel overpowered, and beats almost every supercar as well. Now before we get to the supercars class, I'd like to add in an honorable mention for the bicycles class. So little known fact, the cruiser bicycle can be upgraded to an insane overpowered vehicle. All you have to do is bring it into your terabyte and you can upgrade it to the insane oppressor mark 3. now i wanted to leave it as little surprise so definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the oppressor mark 3 so you can see for yourselves how good it is and of course we have the best for last the supercars class this one doesn't even need to be tested but by the look in the name we all know it's the king and that is the bullet this car is super overpowered in those supercar races. It has the highest top speed in the class. I will say it doesn't handle as good as the Emirates, but the speed difference makes up for it, making even the Pariah want to cry in a corner. And obviously the name Bullet 
says it all. Not really much to say. Make sure you buy a bullet and you'll be the best in the supercar races. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video and now you know the best cars for racing for each class. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to take my word for it. You can listen to some customer testimonials for some real people that have had real experience with these cars. And these are definitely not voiced by my friend Emperor ETR1. You want to cut your lawn expeditiously fast? Buy the Jack Sheep Lawnmower. It's $69.99 at your local Home Depot. I run my taxi business with this car. It is very reliable, very fast, gets my clients to their destination very, very fast. Uh, I do not really know uh, where... Ah, oh, shit, I lost my train of thought. So what's your personal opinion on the Dilettante? I use it for the uh, delivery vehicle, and it's very, very fast. Gets me to the destination very fast. A lot of people have the Brioso. What about that one? Brioso? Oh, no. Very bad fuel consumption. The uh, the retante is so much faster with so much more fuel. Econ no, but also bad. No. <laughs>